my friend, I, I need help, I need sponsorship, I need uh, whatever. Then when I look at the person, I'll see, I'll notice that the person has a phone, the person is well dressed, the person has uh, extensive wrist watches and everything. I'll be like, guy, you don't still need me. You don't, if you actually believe in what you're telling me, you will sell everything you have, you will come naked, saying, okay, I've done everything I could, I can't, I need help now. I believe in what I'm doing. It's all about passion. I don't think any artist that has passion in what he or she is doing should be seeking for help. When that person will come out to seek for help is when that person is totally naked. There is nothing, there is nothing left to sell or sacrifice. What Peace Queen started up, they sold everything they had. They sold their cars. They sold just to make a video. That's the passion, that's the drive. They, they don't need, uh, they, they were not doing it for people to Okay, let me sell this car, I'll make money and buy a bigger Benz. No, they were just doing it because they wanted people to see what they can do. So that's the passion. So when somebody walks up to you and say, I'm an upcoming artist, and the person has a phone, has a wrist watch, the person is not serious. The person is just out for a grab. He just wants to make one hit and get some money and flex. That is not it. It's not it has to do with the passion, first of all. And if I have to contribute to what you're saying, eh? um, mm -hmm. the way we do music back then, if, I'm sorry if I have to use this word. Music is cheap. You know why I say music is cheap? During our days when we started music, we don't deal on the, the digital, we deal on the analog. Whereby you sing from beginning to end. If you don't get it perfect, any mistake, you go back to it. You start afresh. Maybe the keyboard is playing live. You know that kind of thing, but now look at this digital. When I use the word cheap, for you to record a song, let me tell you, the worth of a Blackberry now, I can use it to record five songs. Trust me. That's what we, that's what exactly what he's trying to say now. But you see, most people will tell you, I'm up copying, they still have cars and everything, telling you they need help. Dude, if you need help, you need to help yourself first. Everything has to do with sacrifice. You know, because if you really love what you're doing, if you have the passion, trust me, then okay. what are, you get what I'm saying? Doing that because I know, like, you know, I've met so many underground artists, you know, mm -hmm. many of them, they, like, they're broke as well, you know. But what I'm trying to say is, like, their music is not being sold. And because of that, and, you know, you know, for example, you have a girl, you do music every time, the money's not coming in, she's got to be pissed off, you got to, you know, a lot of things happen. Like but what was the drive, you know? My life is kind of a crazy thing, but what was the drive? What gave you that? What was uh, those period, uh, you don't see, you see, that's the thing I'm talking about. You're doing music, you're talking about you have a girl. <laughs> no, 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 what I'm trying to mean, like, not just girl, I mean, like, family. Yeah. Because if you're doing something, because the money's not coming in, there's going to be a lot of like, okay. that, that is a problem. And, and, the, and, you're and then the most music, important You're not doing music in the first place because of the money. It's the passion. It's not the money. And they believe. It's not the money. If you're doing music and you're focusing on the money, you will never get it. And even when they are coming in, you will not believe you are getting enough. You have to do it because this is what you have passion about. And this, you just want people to know you can do something. You want to show people what you can do. By so doing, the money will start coming in. You get what I'm saying? When they started music, they were not doing it for money. They were doing it for, ah, let me show people that I can dance like Michael Jackson. Let me show people that I can do like Usher. Let me show people that I can do like this. From there, money started coming in because people started liking what they were doing and they're not getting paid to entertain them. If you're doing music because I'm running, so I'm hustling to make money, man, you're not going to make money because you're focused on money, not on the music. Yeah. All you're focused on Just to impress the, 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 the girl you've been chasing. No, that. <laughs> <laughs> you're focused on the money. Let me just break it down. Basically, what was the drive? Well, when the drive ever, is the yeah. passion okay. to show people you can do this. Okay. Or maybe there's somebody out there that was doing good in music, and you know to yourself that you have a passion to show people that you can do better than that person. That is just... Yeah. Okay, it's like... Uh, I'll record it short. Okay, want to say something? Yes, please. I know, like, basically your life is all about music. Because I know when you wake up, it's music. Mm. Those things that you do, you like travel from it. one place yeah. to the other to perform and everything. But as one of your fans, I'm just curious, like, you, when you're not doing music, what, what do you guys do? Like, I'm it's a problem. It's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> my brother. <laughs> uh, I think for me, I'll speak for myself. For yeah. me, uh, um, like you said, um, um, music. At the end of the day, what I'm going to still tell you still refers to music. I'll go to the, my pool area and I'm chilling with some friends. Music is playing. You know, at the end of the day, I'll, I, on my own private time, I just pick up a gym. guitar. I'm at the gym working out. Music. Music. So I, I can never run away from music. 
All right. Um, we, um, P Square. We we had a partnership with Convict Music. Um, uh, we worked together. I get that's that's we were not signed. Oh, okay. You just we, we had a partnership. We worked together, and that's why you can see like when you, we had a song with Akon, yeah. even though we have Ray Cross, Akon was still there. You know, us and Akon were like a family. Okay. We've known each other for like uh, it was almost seven to eight years now. Okay, it's just a partnership. It's a partnership. No, we're not. So, uh, my name is Larry from Practice of Year. My question is, what's the situation between you guys and Navy? Manager. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You want okay. To um, the thing is, you know, sometimes I let people express themselves, speculate, you know, satisfy their curiosities and, you know, around. But the real thing is that. We did not sack him. That's we all. let him go. We let him go. There are two different things, you know. We didn't sack him. We let him go. So that's what basically. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, at the minute we're just still working on like putting out singles. Um, I still have a lot of work to engage in myself as an artist and building my relationship with like the, like my new one, with my new team, um, Junior. So um, depending on how we get like the reaction from from like the fans and I mean at the end of the day it's about like if the fans are hungry for an album you have to put them an album. At the minute I still feel like the fans are still like expecting like a bigger hit or a bigger hit. So like I don't feel if like there's there's space for an album just yet. But if there's demand for an album then it really wouldn't be a big deal. Yeah. Um the people that you mentioned they've all been artists that have been there. It's actually been more than it is in England, so I'm kind of trying to merge, do you know what I mean, merge it more with English and Nigerian, both sides of it. So people that are here sometimes can't relate to people that have been born in Nigeria, things like they don't understand what they're saying or they're not really grown with that culture. So I'm trying to merge it so that people that were born here like me can, you know, understand and, you know, they can be integrated because before I started that for beats, I actually said to myself, I don't think I can do this because I was a born in Nigeria. Do you know what I mean? But it's possible, so I'm trying to let you know people know. Well, we're looking. Um, we're looking at. I mean, for me, for me, coming down there will be um, a, a good um, publicity stunt, if you like. Sure. Um, and we're looking at that option. Um, I can't confirm it. They have to come. Yes. Well, I can't, there's several things that make such things happen. <laughs> like, you know, it's, we're like, we have plans to do um, to go on TV tonight. They're going, they're going for a press conference. We're going to get to that season one. Sorry. <laughs> 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 well, they have to sleep as well. <laughs> No, but we 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 have there's we have an itinerary for today and it's on there as one thing. But then you know I, there's a f we're going to TV now from here, and then we'll look at it still, um, depending on how they are after after here. But you know I'll be there anyway. Don't tell me. Let's have a see my face. <laughs> All right, but then um, just generally about the Afrobeat Festival or Love Afrobeat Festival, which is what we call it. Um, first of all, thank you guys for coming. Uh, it's been a long road to get this one to happen. You know, there's, as you know, this weekend, uh, this weekend is celebrating Afrobeats in every respect on every day, from Sunday, Monday, even at the carnival. There's a lot of, you know, and in the middle of everything, we're we're we're, we're driving on and we're succeeding. So, what I'll say is that um, it's 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 another style of promotion we've had to learn while doing this. We have our wonderful panda. Where is it? Where is the panda? That's a special guest. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Oh, sorry, but we've had to work in a different way. And the other thing I'll say is that um, thanks to Jude and Peter and Paul, they have um, come. I mean, if, um, I, I would not say more than a lot <laughs> to Jude, but as you know, with artists, you need to have um, paid them up front before they do anything. But um, f I think I'm the first person you do jump for jump on the plane for without <laughs> giving him 100% of his money. <laughs> but I mean, it, it's a case where I, I, I thank them for trusting us. You know, um, and um, we are working hard to ensure that this particular show is an absolute success. Um, and um, and we are trying our best to be more friendly with the press. I know some last year, some were a bit unhappy with us. You know, and um, um, we are looking to rectify that this year. There are not a lot of people in here, so that's good. <laughs> we're looking to rectify that, and um, you know, and frank, frankly, it was a good problem last year. You know, it was bad for some, but a good problem to have. Um, but at the same time, you know, we're looking to find that properly this year. So, um, and the other thing, one day call is boarding his plane tomorrow. So he'll be here tomorrow. 
um, EL is landing tomorrow, you know, as well. And um, we've got um, uh, Mr. Silva, who have come on, on the bill very late. Uh, we've got the D2B. Who are all DRB, the, DRB, DRB, sorry, D2B, r to b So DRB, who are a young group, a young group but we, we only just found, found out about them, or I found out about them two, two days ago. Yeah, Oh, two yeah, days ago, yeah, and it was just a friend of mine said, "Look, you need to help these guys. They're they're growing phenomenally." And I just I didn't I didn't hear the song. I just saw their branding and they find let's give them a chance. They open the show, and I think since then they've sold us almost hundred tickets in two yeah, days. Very <laughs> well. No, yeah. and oh. they've done very well. You know, they've been tweeting and collecting more, and more tickets, and it's quite interesting. So that's and regarding up and coming artists, which I was yeah, going to address, um, I get approached by a lot of up and coming artists every time we're giving out flyers and stations and all. You know, that people have come up to me and I said to one of them one time, I said, look, you're not becoming an artist. You want to spend 10 minutes on my stage, yeah? It might sound arrogant, you know, but every time you spend on stage, it's costing someone money. It's costing me and it's costing the fans money. If you're terrible, you kill our show. If you're good, you get an opportunity. Okay, and I'm willing to take that chance with anyone, yeah? But what you want to do for me is collect 500 tickets, give me the cash up front, and go and sell it and get your own fans to watch you. And then tell me you're serious about it, but a lot of guys are not willing to invest their time in their own talent. And for me, that's quite, you know. So I said to the guys, you know, even with 50 tickets, say fine, come to me, I want 50 tickets to sell to my fans. Can you give me a chance to spend five minutes on the stage so people who identify or I can actually talk to Peace Square quickly, that's an opportunity. You paid for that opportunity, like I paid for the opportunity to promote them. I mean, you've made and lost along the way. So that's, that's how I look at it. So um, if, if, if you're willing to get on that stage, you know, support the show. Don't, don't turn up two days for the show and say I'm terrible, I'm not putting you on stage. You know, and that's the way I look at the up and coming artists. So um, that's it, but thanks a lot again, um, the press, for supporting us and uh, we'll always keep on trying. Yeah. Um, we spend a lot of time to bring this show together. I mean, we have a huge thing behind us, Gabs, you know, Afrodeso, Jackpot. Um, you know, in Cocoa Bar, in Schmidt, in Pink's Media, we spend a lot of time on the streets. I know some people say us and, you know, say hello. I mean, I just want to say thanks for your support, you know, and um, I hope we continue to deliver to you guys. So, yeah, so. There's a lot of events going on this weekend, as we all know. But one thing we have to especially flag is people who continue to support the show by buying tickets. We have a very loyal customer base who have followed us through all the events we've done since 2009. Yeah. And um, we just wanted to get, give a special thank you to everybody who continues to support Coco Bars, Main Phoenix Media, and buying tickets. And you know, just a special thank you. We do this mostly because we want to make sure that our customers continue to get the best from us. And that's why we try our hardest follow a, a formula to you know for a successful event so thank you press for supporting us what we're going to do as you guys are here right now we'd like to give each of you one ticket each to come to the show so that we don't have any problems on the day so um, see my colleague um her name is Uzi and her name is Uzi and um we'll 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 make sure you collect before you go collect it before you go because funds are going to be off on the day <laughs> Hey, what's up, everybody? These are your boys, P Square. Special shout out to all Nigerians DJ. Nigerian DJs for UK. That's so you talk. So nothing do you, okay?